Tonight we are using the token of the oil. We are using the token of the oil. If you don't have oil, find oil. If you cannot find oil, find water. Tonight is a dangerous night. Maziga dozi aba. Raba dozi aba. Raba dozi aba. God bless you. God bless you for watching. This is your host, God's servant, the apostle David Owusu, your international forensic prophet. Now listen to me. Tonight is a dangerous night. You look into my eyes as you can watch me. My eyes are so active tonight, ready to move you and I to the next level. As we pray today, there shall be a mega turnaround in your life. If you can see in the spirit, my eyes are red. We even though you see it as white. Why in the spirit it is red. Why? Because tonight I am ready for a mega turnaround in our lives. So you need to share the broadcast for me right here, right now. Connect with your friends, your family. Tell a friend to tell a friend that a prophet of God is online. It's going to be mega. Get your bottle of oil as we break the chains of delay tonight from our lives. It's going to be powerful. I need you to call your friends right now. Call that sister right now. Call that cousin. Call that relative of yours and tell them that the servant of God is ready and, and everyone one of us is ready for a shift. Come on, let's go. John chapter 5. Are you with me? John, the gospel according to John chapter 5. Mahadabu Hosoda. Gedebo Azuda Daba. Gayu Aziante. Viatozi Abadosi. E Yabradu Abrada Azianta. Mi Anko Abazu Atea. Vei Yayi Yabrazuata Yakada Basuta. Go with me to John chapter 5. John, the gospel. Oh, according to John chapter 5. Let me, let's go on. John chapter 5. Now the Bible says, later on, there was a Jewish festival and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now in Jerusalem, near the sheep gate, there is a pool in Hebrew Bethsaida that having five porches. In these porches lay a great number of people who were sick, blind, lame, wielded, waiting for the stirring of the waters. Mm. For an angel of the Lord went down into the pool at an appointed season and stirred the water. The first one who the first one to go into after the water was stirred was healed of his disease. The Bible said there was a pool, and the pool had five porches or five gates, and the pool bed the name Bethsaida, meaning the place of grace or the place of mercy. You know, the, 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 the name Bethsaida actually means the place of grace. The place was called the place of grace. The place was called a place where grace is activated for people. A man made a pool and made five porches into the pool or five gates into the pool. The entrance to the pool was five gates. Five. And the place of the pool was called the place of grace. Mm. And the Bible says anybody that entered there received grace at a certain season. Now, this particular scripture in John chapter 5 is a typology. The pool there is a typology of the body of Christ or the church of God. You know, in the church of God, you can either come into the church of God through the ministry, through either of the fivefold ministry, the apostle, the prophet, the pastor, the teacher, the evangelist representing the five gates by which man entered the pool. The, the, the pool of Bethsaida was a representation and a typology of the church of God. And the gates that entered the pool or through which people entered the pool represents the fivefold ministry.
this feet through which you and I comes into the body. We enter into the faith through either a prophet, a pastor, a teacher, an evangelist, or an apostle. Now, when we come here, the Bible says we are saved by grace and not of our works. Salvation is an act of grace. We come in, when we come in, we receive grace not because of something we have done, but just by the mercies of God, he chooses to give us mercy and grace. Now, now, in at the pool, at the pool of grace or the pool of Bethsaida, people received healing and deliverance when an angel descends and stares at the waters. In the church of God, in the body of Christ, in the time there is a stirring, the waters, there was a typology of the Holy Spirit. In the time there is a stirring of the Holy Ghost and you are able to connect with the Spirit of God. That is when you receive a breakthrough. In the church, in this ministry, in the body of Christ, the only time somebody is able to receive a breakthrough is when the Spirit of God stares up, when the Spirit of God is stared up, and you by your own self, you are able to prophetically connect with it. The Bible says, when the angel stares up the pool, anybody that was first to dip into themselves into the pool, received their healing. Anybody that was first that dipped themselves into the pool, received they are healing. Mahalosi Apata. In the ministry, in the house of the Lord, when the Holy Ghost is stirred up, anyone that is ready to connect their spirit to the movement of the Holy Ghost is the one that receives a testimony. Anyone that is willing and ready, anytime the Holy Ghost is stirred up, the one that is ready to connect, they are the ones that receive their breakthrough. And tonight, at this mountain, at this arena, if there is a pool of grace, there is a pool of God, there is a pool of the Holy Spirit that has been activated right now. Anybody that will connect to today's word, that will connect to today's power, that will connect to the movement and the stirring of the Holy Ghost shall receive a testimony. Is there someone watching me tonight that is ready to connect the Holy Holy Ghost is being stirred up. The Spirit of God is being stirred up. The power of God is being stirred up. It is a typology of the church. Anyone at the time, the Spirit of God moves and the Spirit of God is stirred. Whoever is ready and able to connect and dip themselves into the pool, they are the ones that receive the testimony. Let me tell you something. Hadaba Suhapa, Kadoso Ataya, Tonight, you are at the pool of Bethesda. You are at the place of grace. No wonder this place is called Grace Hour. This place is called Grace Arena. The same place, the same way they receive grace then. That is the same way we are receiving grace now. This place is Grace Arena. A place where grace is released for people. All you've got to do is to act like the men at the pool. Just connect with it. Just dip yourself in it. Then, you see, it is not like whoever puts their finger in it. It is not like whoever puts their feet in it. It is whoever dipped themselves into the pool was the one that received healing. For you to receive a testimony at this mountain, you must be ready to be immersed in the pool. You must be ready to dip yourself in the pool. You must be ready to fully connect with the pool. Not unless you fully dip yourself in the pool of grace, which is also this place called Grace Hour. You may not get a testimony. Some of you is like you are in, you are out, you are praying today, you are not, my friend. This is a dangerous season where you cannot have a lackadaisical, lukewarm attitude towards the things of God. You must be ready to dip yourself. You must be ready to fully connect. And that is how you break through. Today, I made 
make a prayer. Any delay in your life, any satanic delay in your life, any satanic delay in your life, I stand as your prophet and I break it by fire. As you connect to the pool of grace, as you connect to the pool of grace, may delay be broken permanently. May delay be broken permanently. May delay be broken permanently. Tonight we leave this place and we say no more delay. We declare 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 no more delay. No more marital delay. No more financial delay. No more delay in your job. No more delay in your career. No more delay in your life. We make a prayer tonight and we command and declare let every season and spirit of delay be permanently broken by the power of God. Listen. I was just giving you a, a startup to give you to make you understand what we are doing here is biblical. We are the we are at the pool of grace. This is also called grace hour, grace arena, the arena where grace is released, the place where grace of God is activated. But said that the pool was called the pool of grace. Whoever dipped themselves in it received healing and received deliverance on this mountain at this arena of grace i make a prayer anybody that shall connect with your faith maybe you are in afghanistan maybe you are in dubai maybe you are in brazil australia maybe you are in zambia maybe you are in south africa maybe you are sitting somewhere in ghana you are ready to dip yourself into this pool i make a prayer on your behalf may the hand of god be Begin to touch you and break and break every spirit of delay, every spirit of delay from your life, from your career, from your marriage, from your job, from your ministry. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, Payosa. Now listen to me. Let's hear what happened here. And I'm about to show you mysteries in the Word of God. I am about to give you mysteries tonight that will cause a shift in your life. Do me a favor by sharing the broadcast. Share it into every Facebook group you are in. Every group you are in, share it twice into the same group. Just do me a favor tonight. Make sure you have your oil. We are about to enter into another dimension of power. Get your oil ready. Get your oil. Now, let's see. He says, at the, at the, in this, at this pool lay a great multitude of imp, of sick people, the blind, the lame, the way that, that was waiting for the stirring of the waters. You see, sometimes the, the, it is when the waters are stirred, it is when the Holy Ghost is stirred, that is when you connect and receive your breakthrough. It is when the Holy Ghost is stirred, it is when the waters are stirred, that is when you connect and when, when the, the anointing of God, the water is a typology of the anointing. When the anointing of God upon the apostle is stirred, when you connect with it, you receive your breakthrough. When the anointing of God upon this arena is stirred, and you connect with it, miracles begin to happen. Tonight, don't be a spectator. Be among the people that are ready to connect with the oil. Listen. He said, for an angel of the Lord went down into the pool, into the arena, and stayed at the water. For the first, for the one, for the first one to go into the pool was made whole of whatsoever disease they had. Now, next verse. There was a man, now here, this is your issue. This is you here. There was a man. There was a woman called Dorothy. There was a woman called Mercy. There was a woman called Leah. There was a woman called Sylvia. There was a man called James. There was a man called Ben. There was a man, he said there was a man where who had been ill for 38 years. He said there was a man who had been ill for 38 years. When Jesus noticed him lying there helpless, knowing that he had been there in that condition for a long time, he said to him, do you want to get well? 
Is there somebody here who has been in their situation for about 20 years? Is there somebody who is watching me tonight? This man's case was 38 years old. I don't know how old is your problem. I don't know how long your situation has delayed. The Bible said there was a man. The man had been in that case for 38 years. Hey, Abaha, no more delay. I don't know, maybe your marital problem is two years old. You are 45, no husband. You are almost 38. Nobody is even telling you they love you. Nobody is even lying to you. You see, that they love you. There is, you don't know, you are not attracted to anybody. But tonight, in the spirit of delay, in the spirit of delay, today we break it by fire. Remember, the man was not seated in his house. The man was at the pool of grace. The man was at the place of prayer like you and I. We are here praying but there is delay. You are here praying but the man was at the pool where people were receiving testimonies. People, somebody's husband bought her car the other day. People, Yesterday, he said on her birthday, the husband bought her a car. I don't know about you. People are buying houses. Houses at this mountain. God is blessing people. They are buying lands. They are buying houses. You alone, it looks like nothing is happening. This this man was this man's situation was like that. He was at the pool witnessing people getting healed, but nothing was happening for him. That is how your situation is. But now watch this. When Jesus got there, Jesus asked the man a simple question. Jesus said, Sir, do you want to get well? And the, the important man said, Sir, I have no man to put me into the pool when the waters are stirred. Hmm. This is a deep revelation. Jesus asked him a question. Do you want to be made well? The man answered and said, I do not have a man. Was that a good answer? Jesus asked him, do you want to be made well? The man said, the reason, uh, uh, the man said, yes, but I don't have a man to put me in the pool. If you sit where you sit, you might think that the man answered the question wrongly, but no, you are the one that is wrong. The man was right. The man said, sir, at this pool, this is how people get testimonies. Everybody here has a man that carry them and drop them into the pool, but as for me, I have been here for 38 years. I don't have any assistance. I don't have any helper. I don't have anybody to drop me into the pool when the waters are stirred. Mazika ba atua. Hey, basuta apaya. Let me tell you, the reason why the man's life was delayed according to the answer he gave Jesus was simply because he did not have anybody. He did not have a man. Let me tell you, let me define delay for you. Delay is the absence of the right man. Delay is the absence of the right person in your life. Let me give you something. When, when the right man is not present in your life, your life will be delayed. When you don't have the man to say to you, they want to marry you, your marital life will be delayed. When you don't have the man to approve of your promotion, you may sit in one position for 10 years, your life will be delayed. When you don't have the man who will elevate you to a certain level in your career, your life will be delayed. Listen, delay is the absence of the right person in your life. Today, let me tell you, you we, are, we are going to use oil to anoint ourselves and make a decree. Let the right man appear to break the spirit of delay from our lives. Let the right person appear to break the hold of delay from our lives. Let the right man appear to break and terminate the spirit of delay of stagnation from our lives. Listen to me. You may be working in an environment, in a company. One man can put in a word for you and it will change your life. One man can say some good thing to your boss and delay is the absence of the right man. Check every delay in your life. You are delayed because a good man has not appeared. Because the right person that is supposed to show up in your life has not come. When the right man appears, every delay in your life shall be broken. Tonight, the only reason why you think 
your problem has no solution is because it has not encountered the right man at the right time. The only reason why you are where you are is because a man has not given you a certain phone call. But today I pray for you. May a good man appear. May the right man appear. May the right man appear. Listen to me. Esther became a queen because she had Mordecai. And the Bible said she found favor before the enoughs of the king. Let me tell you, David became... David, because Jonathan assisted him and prevented his father from assassinating him. Every great man in scriptures had somebody. Abraham had Eliezer to help him. Moses had Joshua to help him. Paul had Luke and Mark to help him tonight. You need a man that will appear. You need someone that will show up in your life. That will turn your season of delay around. That will turn your season of delay around. That will turn your season of delay around. Tonight we make a prayer. Father, release the right man. That will terminate delay in our lives. Delete, release the right man. That will terminate delay in our lives. Release the right man. Mazika Bahatosa. Matodo Bokapade. Ia Dutu Apa. Manko Adiaba. Rapatua we make a prayer tonight, oh Lord. May you activate the right man. Release the right people. We command the right people. The man that will give you the tender. The man that will approve of your job. The man that will endorse your promotion. The man that will give you the marriage you need. The man that will give you the peace of mind you need. We activate the right person to show up in our lives. We activate the right person to show up in our lives. We activate the right person to show up in our lives. We activate the right person to show up in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, I make a prayer tonight. At this arena of grace, we pray and cancel delay. Any power from your background, any power from your village, any power from your mother's house, any power from your father's house that is causing delay and stagnation in your life. Hatupa adia izigri du atata payose adia tatanta. We make a prayer tonight at this arena of grace. We break the spirit of delay. I break the spirit of delay. I break satanic delay. I break generational delay from your family. I break generational delay from your family. I break the curse of delay from your family. The curse of stagnation. I break it now. I. Break I break it now. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, Masatoa, Kedebosha, Gradosiapa, Yedebo Apatua, A by fire, by tender. I make a prayer tonight. Mazigaba. Listen, do you know what grace is? Grace is a person. Grace is, we call open, open door. Open door is a person. Financial breakthrough is a person. Marital breakthrough is a person. Everything you desire, a man needs to show up to make it happen. Financial breakthrough, you, one person can approve of a tender, a contract for you that will change your company, that will change your business. You need one man to endorse your job, to endorse and give you a job worth millions of dollars, give you a contract, give you, uh, uh, listen, you need a person that will show up and endorse you. My God, uh, you see, you need a person, you need a man, you see. Man of God, I don't have money. If a right person show up in your life, money will not be a problem. If the right man shows up in your life, money will not be a problem. But today we are making prayer. We are engaging the heavens. We are engaging the heavens. Let the right man appear. Listen to me. Listen to me. Say, let me. Let me say this. You are not five years away from your next level. Some people say, oh, I am five years away from my next level. You are not ten years away from your next level. You are not even one year away from your next level. Listen to me. You are only one person away from your next level. Do you hear what I said? You are not five years away from your next level. You are, you are not even two years or even one month away. You are just one person away from your next level. The day the person show up in your life. Do you think all of us, we 
we got here by chance. We got here because somebody helped us. Somebody assisted us. Check the scripture from Genesis to Revelation. Anybody that made tremendous impact whose life was running with speed got divine assistance. Got help from a man. Today I pray for you. Adupa Adikadua Tatanta. Any person that needs to show up in your life. Any woman that needs to show up in your life. Any man that needs to show up to help your life move forward. We command the release of that man. 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 We command the release of that person. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Masigaba. Payosu Tapa. Gredosi Apapa. I need you to share the broadcast for me. I need you to share the broadcast for me. Mi anta bahaya. Vrako shodobo ata. Listen to me. Listen to me. When you have the right person in your life, when you have the right person in your life, your life runs with speed. The point number four of running with speed is connecting to the right people. If you want your life to move with speed, connect with the right people. If you learn to listen, the quality, let me tell everybody listen to this. My coach, it's one of my favorite quotes in life. The quality of your life is determined by the quality of the people that are around you. Did you hear what I said? The quality of your life is determined by the quality of the people that are in your life. If right now you know the president, you know the prime minister of England, you know some great, great, if your friend is Mark Zuckerberg, you know great men and great people, my friend, the quality of your life will change. You need to come to the point of understanding that this life is not a journey of a loan or of a loner. You need somebody in your life. You can be talented, but if you don't have the right person, your talent will not go anywhere. You can be gifted, but if you don't have the right person, you'll be delayed. Some of you ladies, you are so beautiful. Your body shape is correct. 36, 26, 36, everything. Your vital statistics is in point, but because you don't have anybody to connect you to the right man, you are still single and struggling. Listen to me you don't need you need to understand something here that if you don't have the right man you can be talented gifted moneyed and what but your life will be stagnated today i make a prayer for somebody that may god release your helper 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 in the mighty name of jesus May God bring the right man and the right woman into your life. Today we are going to have what we call the anointing to attract. The anointing to attract. We are anointing ourselves today and tomorrow. Tomorrow we are, we, today we are bringing the anointing to attract. And tomorrow we will uh, we do the anointing of breaking chains. Listen. Listen. God made man to interdepend on one another. God made us so that we will interdepend on one another. When God made Adam in the garden, the Bible says, and God looked and said, it is not good for man to be alone. So God made for Adam a helper. God did not make for Adam a wife. God made for Adam who? A helper to come and help Adam in what he was doing. You need someone that will move you, that will help you, that will facilitate Take your desire that will facilitate your dreams that will sponsor your goal that will sponsor your business my god you need somebody who will come into your life the person that god has ordained god has anointed god has prepared for you and today on this arena at this mountain i make a prayer that may god release that person may god release that person may god release that person in the name of jesus you call for your helper. We call for our helpers. 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 Father, release the helpers into this ministry. Release helpers into my life. Release helpers into our destiny. You bring the right people in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. May God release helpers. May God release helpers. May God release helpers. May God release helpers. 
Your talent will be useless if you don't have a helper. Your gifting will be useless. You can never be productive if you don't have a helper. Listen to me. God made us to interdepend on one another. So the man says, sir, I have been here for 38 years. But I do not have a man. I do not have a man. Jesus said, I have come at the man. The man, the right man has come. Maybe you have not gotten helpers for a long time. But today, Jesus himself is stepping in your matter. Jesus himself, Jesus told the man, you don't need a man anymore. I am the man you need tonight. Maybe you don't have anybody. Maybe you don't have a helper. Reactivate the hand of God. 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 Reactivate the hand of God on your behalf. We activate the hand of God on your behalf. We activate the hand of God in the name of Jesus. Mahada Boshawaya. Shut up, Rokas. Shut up, Rokas. Shut up, Rokas. Shut up, Rokas. Tomorrow night, we need to hit a thousand tomorrow night. I need you to invite somebody to watch the broadcast tomorrow night. I need you to invite somebody to watch. Listen to me. Tonight, it is a dangerous night that you need to call your friends and let them come and listen and hear get away for themselves. Are you ready? The man said, I have been here for 38 years. 38 years, 38 years. I don't know how long your life is delayed. I don't know how long your marriage is delayed. I don't know how long you have remained stagnated in your career by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the anointing of God. We make a prayer. Whoever is behind your delay, today we command let them die by fire. Whoever is causing your delay, we command let them die by fire. We make a prayer tonight. Listen, are you not tired of being at one place? Are you look at this man? He will remain at one place for 38 years. 38 years, his life was stagnated. The man of God, but I've been praying. It looks like nothing is happening. Because you have not fully dipped yourself into the pool. You must connect. You must keep praying. You must keep pushing. You must release your hand. Are you ready to pray? 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 The Bible says, Jesus said to the man, Take up your bed and walk. Today, somebody who has never walked, who has never gotten a breakthrough, who has never gotten a man, who has never received millions, who had anything you have never done. This man had never walked. He was impotent. He was healed that day. Any breakthrough you are believing God for, I kneel on this mountain, at this altar, and I pray for you. May it be released. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Mazagrado Ziaba. Mi Ankadaba Hadiakaba. Robosu Atadaba Koshadabaya. Veye Yazuzu Azizi Abada. Bayo Zoka Diazababata. Beye Ze Kabaha Tabaya. Listen to me. There are three types of men you need in your life. Three types of men you need in your life, and then I, I end. Three types of men. Number one, do, do you need me to tell you? There are three types of men you need in your life. Three types of men. Number one, the first man, the first type of man you need to help your life move forward, to help your life advance. The first type of man you need is the man with the information. The man with the is listen to me. Some of you you are delayed because you love you lack knowledge. Jesus said, I mean, sorry, the, the word of God says that my people are destroyed because of lack of knowledge. You need information, you need somebody that will give you information. Some of you, your life is stagnated because you don't know what to do, you are ignorant of how to move forward from where you are. 
You don't know what to do and for that matter your life. You need somebody with information who will tell you, my friend, this is the job to do. There is a new business here. There is a tender that is that is on here. You need to apply. There is a there is a job that is going on here. Listen to me, some of you, you got your job because somebody told you of the job. You got that breakthrough because somebody gave you information. Listen, information, we are living in an information world. The greatest asset right now in this life is data, is information. Listen to me. In this hour, at this season, at this time, you need a man that would put knowledge in your head, like Apostle David. Put knowledge in your head. Tell you this is how to do it. Go this way. Go that way. Don't do this. Don't listen. You need a man with the right information. Listen. Information can change your life. Without information, you will not be where you are. Somebody told you how to invest in this business. Somebody told you how to apply for that job. Somebody gave you ideas on what to do. In in that business some information is power information is key if you want to move forward from where you are you need the right man with the right information three types of men that will help your life move forward the man with information the man with information the man with information the man, the Bible said, Jesus, the Bible said, my people are destroyed because they lack information, they lack knowledge. Listen, people are delayed because they don't know how to do it, how to come out. Well, you see, some of you, you are even afraid to even change your job because you are afraid you don't have information. But today, anybody that carries your information from your next level, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, to do be, take your oil, take your oil now. Every time we pray for one man, you anoint yourself. Take your oil. I said, everybody get oil. Get oil. Get oil. Some of you, you are married because a certain friend introduced another lady, another guy to you. Yeah, the man you are married now, somebody introduced them to you. That is information. The woman you are with now, somebody introduced you to you. That is information. You need someone that will give you information, knowledge. My friend, take your oil. Carry your oil around. Her DDB Patua. Hey, my fire by fire. Take your oil now. Say after me in the name of Jesus. This oil loses its earthly significance. It becomes the oil of God. As I anoint myself, power comes into this oil. Say we infuse power into my oil. We infuse power into my oil. We infuse power into my oil. Kadabaduate vikadua papa izuti apaya. Every oil that is present at this arena, wherever the oil is, in Germany, in France, in Brazil, in Zambia, in India, in Afghanistan, in Kenya, in Ghana, in the United Kingdom, in the U.S., in Caribbean, wherever the oil is represented, in Dua Batua, Hazika Atoi, Eyabaswanta. Today we make a prayer. May this oil bring power. May this oil release our helpers. May this oil release the man with information. Anoint yourself. Anoint yourself, number one. Anoint yourself. May the man that carry your information appear. Father, release my man with the information. Somebody pray. Come on, pray. Release your man. May God release your man with information. May God release the man that carries information. May God release the man that carries knowledge. Hatupatua. Ikedepa. Hantopaya. Hatuapaya. Itedebe. Hatuapa. Hantabra kodobota. Payoski apata. Hantedebe kapa. Rapaduate. Iman todobopa. Hakaraba padua. Rababa padua. Mi antaba padua. Ikapapa padua. Rababa pa. Rababa pa. Rababa pa. Father, we anoint ourselves. We activate the man. Let the man that carry my information. Let the man that carry my knowledge. Let the man that carry my next level. Let that man appear. Let that man appear. Payos kapaya. Payos kapaya. Payos kapaya. Payos kapaya. Rapata. 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 Hatelea. 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 Hatelea.
Imanta Bahaywa, me anta Bahaywa, me the man that carry your information. Let the man that carry your information up here. Let the man that carry your information up here. Let the man that carry your information up here. Payos Kapa, Rabba Bakodo Boshe, Bia Baba Badua Kapa, the man that will tell you of the job, the man that will introduce you to your husband, the man that will introduce you to your next, to your next business, the man that will introduce you and teach you how to do business in America, the man that will teach you how to earn money in the UK, the man that carry information, Father we release, Hapa Yokoa, Hapa Yokoa, Hapa Yokoa, Hapa Dapa, 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 that carry information for me, the man that carry my information, the person that carries information that will change my life, the person that carries information that will change my business, the person that carries information that will change my ministry, the person that carries information, Father, we make a prayer, release the right person in our lives, release the right man, wherever you are, I see a lady watching me, that is watching me from Ghana, specifically on the tech road, you live around the tech road, area around tech say yes the Lord your man is appearing your man is appearing your man is appearing in the realm of the spirit my eyes have opened the spirit of the Lord has taken my spirit in the day of the Lord to a place in Ghana called Mampong Mampong if you are watching me now and you originate from Mampong and its environs the spirit of the Lord said I should release a prayer there is a place there is there is a door that needs to open for you, but there is a strong woman, a great woman who carries the spirit of witchcraft, who terminates greatness in the lives of people in the family, who does not want you to break through. But tonight, on this arena of God, at this mountain of prayer, we make prayer and intercession for you that nobody shall stop your next level, nobody shall stop your next level, no one shall stop your next level, no one shall stop your next level in the name of Jesus Christ. Are you ready? We are going. The next person you need in your life. Are you here? The next person you need in your life is the man that car that carries physical help. The first person is the man that carries information. The next man is the man that carries physical help. In Mark chapter 2, the Bible declares that there was a man who was lame and his friends carried him from the house and opened the Jesus was preaching in the house. They, they carried the friend from his house and, and opened Open the rooftop and drop the man by the feet of Jesus. And Jesus said, I have never seen a faith like this. You need that man that will give you physical cash, my friend. You need the man that will give you the man that carries that will give you physical help. I'm not talking about prayer. I'm talking about the man that will give you money, 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 cash, pounds sterling, US dollars. The man that will give you money. We are talking about the man who will be physically there to say, no, you don't qualify for the job, but I am giving to you. The man that will say, you don't qualify for the tender, but I override, overrule, and destroy other people who may qualify. I'm giving you the tender. You need that man who will honor and give you physical assistance physical assistance. There are some people, they come with knowledge. They give you the idea, the knowledge, you go and you get it. But there are people who are supposed to give you physical help. And the second people we are going to pray for, Father, give me the man. You need a man that will, you see, somebody can introduce you to a man and you marry the person. But a man can come physically and look for you and say, ah, Nora, you look beautiful. I will marry you. If somebody can come physically and say, ah, hey, you, you look pretty. I will marry you. You need a man that will physically come and marry you. You need that man that will physically give you money, physically give you a job, physically cause you to break through. Physical assistance. Are you ready to make a prayer? Jesus said the other day, when you are praying, say, our Father, who acts in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Say, give us this day our daily bread. You need the man that will give you daily bread. Every answered prayer is a man. Every prayer answered here on earth 
God the Father is in heaven. God the Son came here on earth. He has gone back to heaven. God the Holy Spirit is already here. So you need a man that will give you physical help. We are taking the next prayer points now. That may God release the man that will bring physical assistance. Take your oil. Take your oil. My friend, some people, yeah, they, sometimes you go and tell your problem to somebody. And they say, ah, I will pray for you. Sometimes it's not prayer. They, they, you need money to finance the business. You need money to finance the tender. You need physical money, cash. Take your oil. Anoint, the second anointing. We anoint ourselves three times today. Say in the name of Jesus. Are you ready? Say in the name of Jesus. Put oil in your hand. Put it upon your forehead. Say in the name of Jesus. Any man that is supposed to give me physical help. Wherever you are. Wherever you are. We command a release. We command a release. We command a release. We command a release. Wherever my man is. Wherever the man supposed to help me is. Father, release them now. Father, release them now, the father release them now. The Payo Kotua, the Payo Kotua, the Payo Kotua, the Payo Kotua, the Padaba Kadabra Shata, the Rababa Kolobo Shaba, the Rantete. Father, we make a prayer tonight. Release the right man, the man for our next level. Me and Kabaya, the man that will give me physical help, the man that will give me physical help. Rababa Koloboya, the Rababa Koloboya, the Padua Kabranta, the Padaba, the man that will give us millions of dollars. Thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars. The man that will stand with our cause, the man that will stand with our vision, the man that will finance our ministry, the man that will finance our cause. Father, we pray your God for helpers in the ministry, for helpers in our lives. Father, release helpers that will be committed every now and then. Father, release helpers that will be committed to God to our lives. The man that will give us tenders, the man. That will approve of our jobs to release a man. Makolo bohatia, payolo bohatia, payolo bohatia. He kere beya, abranta ba. Our company shall be favored. Our organization shall be favored. We decree and declare. There is a man that will speak, put in a word for us. There is a man that will speak for us in the name of Jesus. Mazaka do boha, raba kolo bote, epeli abapa, atolo boka ba, adi ababa, adi ababa, abada. Brantos Cabrantaba, the Patolibi Cabrantaba, the Terebo Capa, Brandoski Apaya, the Pantaba, we call people from Germany, we call people from France, we call people from America, we call people from Australia, we call people from the United Kingdom, we call people from Kenya to help the cause and the agenda of the kingdom, we call people from West Africa, from Ghana, from Nigeria, from from the Gambia to support the cause and the vision of God. We release men that will physically be there to support our cause from Uganda, from Tanzania, from Malawi, from South Africa, from Nigeria. Father, we make a prayer. Tonight, the Vadibi Apa, the right man that will release money, the right man that will buy us property with our struggle, the right man that will finance the ministry with our struggle, the right people that will stand with our cause and our vision. The Matobo Haseya, Atudubi Apapa, Rabakosa, the Teyababa, Rampa Paduapa, Rado Siapa, the Pedebekapa, Randa Bakoshata, the Apa. Papa, we lift up holy hands tonight. And Father, we make a prayer. Release the right people of God. Papa, Papa, the Patuaya, 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 the Patuaya. Father, you say, great was the people that built the church. Great was the company that built your house. We pray for people that will support us in business. Anybody watching me who has applied for tender, who is looking for businesses, we pray your God, Masika Patosa, from every company that is represented in Dome, every company that is connected to this ministry, in every organization that is connected to us, Father, we make a prayer. 
May you bless their businesses. Grant them the tenders they need. Grant them the businesses they, they require. That jobs they are praying for. Father, honor them and favor them. Father, honor them and favor them. Father, honor them and favor them. Makolo bo shabaha. Ikata dabaha. Rapa padabaha. Iman toroboha. Ipadwa siate. Ikada dabakosha. Apadaba padwa kapa. Rapa padabra shata. Iman torobo kapa. Apadwa kapa. Iman tatadwa kapa. Rapa bakosha. Father we pray. Release the right man into our lives. Mi antabaha. In the name of Jesus. Listen to me. If you are expected to log off, we are here. We are serious people here. We are not joking. We want to pray and break through. See, so many testimonies. These are testimonies. People are sending testimonies all over. We need, listen to me. Don't be an spectator. I told you from the beginning. The pool of Bethesda is called the pool of grace. The Bible says, whoever stepped in, dropped themselves into the pool, fully received the breakthrough. So yours is the when they say when the angel stirred up the waters, and the waters is a typology of the Holy Ghost. So I said to you, the Bible says, at the pool of Bethesda, the angel will come and stir up the waters. The angel is the symbol of the man of God. The man of God in the house will come and stir the anointing. When the anointing of God is stirred at the arena, at the pool, at the place of grace when you connect and dip yourself in the river which is the river the river of grace our the river of grace arena the river of this mountain when you dip yourself in it then you break through that is the revelation in john chapter 5. listen to me are you ready to dip yourself the man of god the angel of god according to revelation a man of god is a symbol of an angel of a church i am the symbol as i am the representation of an angel for this ministry anybody call, i am an angel so, in the realm of the spirit the bible says to the angel of the church in like this year to the angel of the church you are a, you are the man of god is a symbol of, or a typology of an angel now listen to me for a ministry now listen and, and that in this ministry when the angel comes and stirs up the waters. The waters there is a symbol of the anointing. When the angel come and stir up the anointing, when you are able to fully immerse yourself in the, into the anointing, you will get your breakthrough. And the Bible says, the gates, the pool had five porches. The five porches, I told you, is a typology of the fivefold ministry. An apostle, a prophet, a pastor, a teacher, and an evangelist. All the, the fivefold ministry was a symbol of, 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 uh, of the five gates at the porch, at the, at the pool. And through the gates we come in, through this fivefold ministry we come into the kingdom. Let me tell you something. We are taking the last prayer, the last but one prayer. The last person you need in your life is the person that carries the word of God in their mouth. I said to you, the first person is the man, you, the first man you need is the man that carries, that, that carries that carries information. The second person is the man that carries physical help. The man that will give you physical assistance. And the third man is the man that carries the word of God in your mouth. You need the priest. Hey, you need them. You see, if you have these three men in your life at the right time for the right season, you will never struggle. The reason why your life is delayed is because you don't have the right man that will push you forward. Other people move forward because they have men that were ready to stick up their neck for them. They had men that were ready to finance their business. They had men that were ready to support their work. They had men that were ready to push them forward. The man said, Jesus asked him, do you want to be made whole? The man says, I don't have a man. I have been here for 38 years. There is nobody to lift me and drop me into the pool. I pray for you tonight. I this arena, may your man appear. May your man appear. The man with information, the man with physical help, may God release them. And today, may your man that has a, the word of God in their mouth, may that man appear. The last man you need is the man that carries the word of God. Your priest had that boso. Great day, 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 day. You need a priest. You need a priest that will speak over you. You need a man that carries the word of God in their mouth that will declare over you. And speak over your life. The other day, God said in the book of Ezekiel, He says, I look for a man, I look for a man so that I may not destroy the people. 
He says, and look for a man to stand in the gap so that I may not destroy the people. God was looking for a man. So a man, a prophet, a man, a, 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 a prophet, a man that will speak a word so that he will not destroy the people. But God says, I found none. God says, I found none. God says, I found none. God says, I, I look for a man that was standing in the gap. So, you see, if God says, I was looking for a man that was standing in the gap, so that I, the Lord, I do not destroy the people. And God says, I found, when he found none, he destroyed the land. But if he will find somebody who will intercede, who will stand between the, the, the porch and the altar on your behalf, God will not destroy the, the land. The man you need is the man. The man with the the man with the word of God is you need a speaking priest. Hi, Abba. Thank you, Audrey. You need a speaking priest that will speak on your behalf. My God, my God. That is why yesterday I was telling you, I am your priest. I am your pastor. If you are fully connected to this ministry, I am your priest. I am your pastor. If you need physical help, you can call me and spiritual help anytime, any day, 24-7. Because that is what I was born to do. To pray for you, Audrey. To pray for you, Josephine. To pray for you, Mary. To pray for you. To declare for you, Agnes. God sent me with that mandate. And I am here to fulfill it. I am here to fulfill it. You need a priest. Now listen to me. The, God says, I look for a man to stand in the gap that I may not destroy the land. So if God looked for a man and he, if he found someone, there was be no destruction. And imagine you have a man like, uh, like, like an apostle, like myself, who will stand in the gap on your behalf. No power can destroy you. No witchcraft can destroy you. No sorcery can destroy you. In the name of Jesus, if you have the right man, if you have the right man, if you have a priest that will speak on your behalf, when the forces of your village are coming, the priest will counter it. When the witchcraft power from Machakos, from, from Eastern land is coming, from witchcraft from Antwa, from witchcraft from Boga, from when demonic powers from Arusha is coming against you, from Benicity is coming against you, your priest will speak and avert it. I don't know which priest you have, but we here at Grace Hour, we have a speaking priest in the name of prophet David also today I stand as your priest now listen to me God has mandated the priest to make prayer and to make intercession and to actually bless the people he said I look for a man to stand in the gap if I found one I will not destroy the people and God says I could not find so God destroyed the people now listen to me go with me to number chapter 6 Numbers chapter 6 verse 22 and then we are done. Numbers 6 22 but you need a priest. Listen to me. Your blessing is in the mouth of a man. Your elevation is in the mouth of somebody. Your blessing is in the mouth of your prophets. Sometimes you don't need me to do anything. Just say prophet papa speak a word. Just speak over my life. You see, you see one word from a man of God has the ability to turn your life around. Not just any man, but the man that carries the oil. People are getting testimonies. So many testimonies. Let me read a testimony for you. Greetings, Papa. I am happy to be a member of Grace Hour. Ever since you spoke over my life, Look at this. It is ever since you spoke over my life, the hand of God has been moving mightily upon me. When I joined, when I joined Dome Partnership, I had nothing. I was living a sorrowful life of begging and shame. Oh my God. Glory be to God. Things are now different. Ay, 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 ay. He says, ever since I spoke over her life, his life, he was first living a sorrowful life, a begging life. She shame. But now things are different. He says, I have been saving to buy a car and I have found one. Somebody who was begging for food is now wanting to buy a car. My God, at this mountain, if you only connect to it, he said, ever since you spoke over my life, I did not lay hands on him. I just Walk over his life. I make a prayer over your own life also. Today I pray for you. Whoever is 
to watch him. Maybe your life is at a bad place like this gentleman. I speak over your life and I decree and declare, let there be a turnaround. 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 Let there be a turnaround over your life, over your marriage, over your business, over your career. We make a prayer now. He said, David, yes, God moved this man from the place of begging for food, from the place of shame, from the place of death, into owning his own car, owning his own property. I pray for you. I decree and declare, may you also testify. At this arena, may you testify. May you testify. The same prophet that spoke, that brought a shift in his life, is the same prophet that is speaking today. Yours is to connect with it. I pray for you. May your salary begin to change. May your promotion appear. May you receive a new career. May you receive a new job. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. By your Sabbath. Listen to me. The next prayer. So who would have thought that would be possible? I thank God for your life, Papa. So who would have thought I would ever buy a car? People never thought you buy a car. Even me, people were looking for me to fail. But there is an anointing on this mountain. There is a grace at this arena that changes the lives of people. Let me, let me read the next testimony. Say, thank you, Papa, for your covering. I requested you to pray for my mom, who was tested for COVID-19. You said that you would pray with us. I am grateful. Both of my parents are now doing well. Since you are a great prophet, may God increase your anointing. This is from Caroline. Caroline says, I was searching for a job for the I have been searching for a job for the past five years. After we prayed over water. Listen, listen to this testimony. This is from Caroline. Caroline, if you are watching, just comment for me. Caroline says, I have been searching for a job for the past five years. After we prayed over water during the broadcast. When I tell you bring water, bring oil, bring this. Some of you, ah, me, I go to I go to Anglican, I go to ICC. We don't pray over this. We don't. Ah. When Jesus spat on the ground and applied the spatum, I mean, Jesus spat on the ground, mixed the spatum with flames, uh, with sand, and applied it on the eyes of a blind man, told the blind man to go and wash. Do you think it made sense? It didn't make sense. When Elijah, Elijah told Naaman to go and dip himself in the muddy river Jordan, did you think it made sense? It didn't make sense. But that was where the healing came from. The man says, since we prayed over water, Says during, he said, I, I was searching for a job for the past five, five, five years. After we prayed over water during the broadcast, I drank it and sowed the seed, the power of sowing seeds. Miraculously, I received a phone call the following day. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. What a God. What a God. He says, I received a phone call the following day. Saying what? The following day for a job contract. I had not attended my interview yet, yet I was called for an appointment letter. She was called for an appointment letter without applying, going for interview. This is the God of this mountain. That is the God of this mountain. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that my, the salary is good. I am grateful to God. Thank you so much, Daddy, for your prayers. Now, the, I, I'll read the rest of the testimonies tomorrow. Now, we are going to pray. No, Numbers chapter 6. I couldn't even get time to prophesy. I could not even get time, but don't worry. We still have a bit of time. I am going to release prophecy and activate prophecy and be prophesying over the lives of people very soon. And then we are going to be praying. Now listen to this. Listen to this. Numbers chapter 6, verse 22. This is the last scripture and then we go. The last person you need in your life to break the from your life is a man of God. You need a man that carries the oil. You need a man that has spoken over people to testify like this. You need a man like that in your life. You need a man. You need a man. If anybody tells you don't want grace, when the person wants your downfall, the person does not want you to prosper. In fact, they want you to fail. You need to far, run far away from them. They are evil. Let's go on to the word of God. Say, Numbers chapter 22, verse 6, Numbers chapter 6, verse 22. Then the Lord said to Moses, Speak to Aaron and his son, saying, Then the Lord said to Moses, Speak to prophet David and his son, saying, This is how you will bless Israel. Israel is a typology of you and I. Israel is a typology of God's people. God said, This is how a priest, a man of God, a pastor, an apostle is supposed to bless God's people. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The way the Lord bless you, that means the Lord empower you to prosper. So when you're speaking priest, every priest must 
be a speaking priest. When I, as your speaking priest, release my hand and open my mouth and declare, the Lord bless you. The Lord empower you to excel. Heaven approves of it. Heaven endorses it. And you receive the ability, the anointing, the energy from on high to make you excel. How? Because God has mandated me as a priest on the earth to bless you and to empower you to excel. You need a speaking priest. A priest that will speak over you. Say this, say, tell them the Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. The word keep there means protect, sustain, and guard you. Hi, Abasa. When, when you have a speaking priest like this, nobody. The word I said, the Lord protects you. The Lord keep you means the Lord protects you, sustain you, and guard you. I speak as your priest. I speak as your prophet. May the Lord protect your business, protect your ministry, guard your life, guard your marriage, guard everything that matters to you in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. You need a priest. The next person you need is a man that carries the word that will speak over your life. Listen to me. You need a man that constantly is speaking. That is why I come on grace hour to constantly speak over your life, to constantly release a man, to constantly release money to you, to, to constantly release a word over you that will bring money to you, to constantly release a word over you that will bring the right people to you, to constantly speak upon you. Makadaba Hosapa. In Matole Behapa, in Bratosco Adibiba, Vasia Bahadua Cate, Vreke Tolu Atibia, Manti Apapa, Kadiba Azubaya Ate. May the Lord bless you and keep you, protect you, sustain you, and guard you. May He cause His face to shine upon you. That means may God give you favor and be gracious unto you. Do you know the meaning of the word grace? The word be gracious unto you means the Lord give you what you don't deserve. The Lord give you a husband you don't deserve, a job you don't deserve. That is how I'm supposed. I have been mandated by Elohim to bless you. So you need that. I don't have time. Let me leave it here and we continue tomorrow. We are going to pray. Take your oil. Take your oil. Take your oil. We are going to pray. The oil for tonight, we are anointing ourselves, the anointing of attraction that will bring the right people. Say, as I anoint myself today, say, as I anoint myself today, I release my speaking priest to speak over my situation, to bring a turn around in my life. Let my priest speak. Let my prophet speak. Let my man of God speak. Let the forensic prophet speak. Let Apostle David speak over my life. Let Apostle David activate my miracle. Let the man of God speak a word that will cause a turn around in my family. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Makolobota. Rapakolobota. Ivadiapata. Itedebea. Rapa Pandua Cabrantava, me Antava Duacapa, Rapa Padava Padua Capa, a Terebea, a Terebea, a Terebea, a Terebea, a Terebea, a Terebea, a Padua, a Padua, a Padua, a Padua, the Capando Siapa, the Capando Siapa, Rabba Baconiapa, the Vada Baconiapa, Ante Adiapa, the Kurebe Adiapa, Rapa Duacapa, Matodo Azia. Rapa Pacadua Capa, Randa da Bacoduapa, 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 a Padua Papa, a Padua Papa, a Padua Papa, a Padua Papa, Macolopia, 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 Rabaioa, 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 in the name of Jesus. Christ, the Son of the Living God. Now we are going to pray. May, you, may every word spoken over your life, may it be, begin to work. May it begin to manifest. May the word manifest now. 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 Makoluate. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Every spirit, now last prayer. Every spirit, or say after me, every spirit of delay, every chance of delay in my father's house, in my mother's house, every chance of delay in my destiny, in my life, today we declare break by fire, break by fire, break by fire. Break by fire, 
Are you ready to pray? Masaka toboha, vika tolo vose, grete tebea, masukapa. Say every chance of delay from my father's house, every chance of delay from my mother's house. Today we break it now. 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 Payos kapa, payos kapa, payos kapa. Raba ba kolobosa, raba ba kolobosa, raba ba kolobosa. Ipadwa kapa, ipadwa kapa, ipadwa kapa. Mante azua, apara ba padwa kabranta ba. We pray the chains of delay. 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 Makolobo taya, makolobo taya, makolobo taya. Makorobotaya, 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 Ipaduaya, Iteama, Ipaduaya, Iteama, Ipaduaya, Iteama, Ipaduaya, Iteama, Aparaba Padua Cabrantama, Ipatora Robos Cabrantama, Ipanaba Corobo Sapa, Ipantara Brantama, Ipadua Cabrantama, Ipadua Cabrantama, we bring the chains, we bring the chains. We break the chains. We break the chains. We break the chains. I told you, Papa. 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 Rabba, 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 he mantara rava sandavata, he caprantos kiapa, masukapa, masolo robo kapa, he pantoni vikapa, rapandi vikapa, rapandi vikapa, rapandi vikapa, masolo robo shaya, anything delaying the destiny of your children, we break it now, anything delaying the destiny of your family, we break it now, anything delaying your own life, making people to deny you what you deserve, we break it now, anything. Delay in your marriage, we break it now. Come on, lift up your voice, lift up your voice. Matodo Adiaba, Katodo 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 Adiaba, your breakthrough financial breakthrough in the physical. We activate it. We activate it. We activate it. We activate it. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Mantupaya. Makolobo Shata. Vrako Sodobo Sata. Ipapanobo Shata. Rapapada Brakatua. Ivantabadua Kapra. Ifatolobo Kapa. Atelebos Kapa. Rabba Bakosa. Ivantua Baba. Apaya Baba. In the name of Jesus. May God favor you. May God bless you. Let us take declaration and there we go. Let us take declaration and go. We are taking our last declaration and there we go. Say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. Every delay in my life today is broken. It's broken. It's broken. It's broken. I receive divine speed. I receive divine speed. I receive divine speed. I receive divine speed in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, I receive divine speed in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, I receive divine speed in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, I receive divine speed in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive divine speed over my life, my career, my ministry, my, my job, my children's lives. Speed is released tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Please, tomorrow shall be your night. Receive the word. Come online and God will bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.